Hey folks, if you got smoke coming out your tailpipe, it's not always the end of your car or your wallet. So today we'll go over the top five reasons why you may be having smoke coming out of the tailpipes, some of which are fairly easily fixed, but also we're going to go over how you can properly diagnose them. But actually before we get started, I have a favor to ask. And yep, you guessed it. That is to subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you click on the bell notification that's right next to the subscribe button. Because unless you click on that, you're not going to be notified of my new videos that are going to be coming out. All right, so let's start at number five and let's get the basics out of the way. Now this mistake a lot of people make, especially when they change their oil. Then they end up having smoke coming out of the tailpipes, they freak out, assume the worst, think they have a bad engine. All the while, they simply put too much oil in their engine and overfilled their crankcase. Yeah, putting too little oil in your engine could definitely damage your engine, but also putting too much oil in your engine could cause it to smoke, but also cause severe mechanical damage as well. So yeah, what happens when you overfill your engine with oil, engine oil ends up getting past your oil ring and your piston rings, gets to the top of the cylinder, and then from there it gets into your combustion chamber and then burns off with the air fuel mixture. And then from there it comes out your tailpipe. Fixing this is pretty easy, obviously. Make sure you're parked on a level surface and then check your oil level and make sure you don't have too much oil in your engine. All right, so coming out number four, you could have smoke coming out your tailpipe. If you have a bad positive crankcase ventilation valve, this guy right here. Now we won't get too much into this because I just did a video on your positive crankcase ventilation system and how you can properly diagnose problems with it. But basically your PCV valve or your PCV system is responsible for recirculating the blow by from your crankcase back into your intake manifold and your engine. So when your piston comes up and reaches top dead center, the spark plug ignites the air fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber. And as the air fuel mixture ignites, it expands. Now as this happens, it pushes the cylinder down and the cylinder bore creating power, but also some of those gases slip by your piston rings and get into your crankcase. And from there, those gases find their way to the cylinder head where the PCV valve uh, under certain driving conditions allows them to be recycled through the intake manifold and back into the combustion chamber and be reused. Now if you have a bad PCV valve that's stuck in a position where it's allowing for the maximum flow of uh, the blow-by gases from the crankcase to the engine, even when it's not supposed to, at times like at idle where there's not a whole lot of blow-by gases getting into the crankcase, then your engine could actually be sucking in a bit of your engine oil and burning it through the tailpipe. Now testing a PCV valve to make sure it's not the culprit for smoke coming out your tailpipe is fairly easy. You remove it from the valve cover and shake it and make sure the valve can move around freely. All right, so coming at number three, if you have black or dark gray smoke coming at your tailpipe, it could be due to your engine running rich. Now in order to simplify what running rich is, it's when you have too little air to too much fuel or too much fuel to too little air entering your combustion chamber. Doesn't matter which way you look at it. Now the main culprit for why your engine might not be getting enough air into the combustion chamber is going to be a super dirty or clogged air filter. If your air filter is clogged, it's not gonna allow for enough air to go through here to your, and find its way to your combustion chamber. Now on the other hand, why you might be having too much fuel entering your combustion chamber it might be a little bit more tricky. However, main culprit for that is going to be a leaking or stuck open fuel injector, that guy right there. But coming out at a close second is the O2 sensor. Now, some of you may know the O2 sensor is there to regulate the air fuel mixture. It tells your car's computer whether there's too much fuel in the exhaust fumes coming out of your combustion chamber or whether it's too little fuel coming out of the combustion chamber and whether the car's computer needs to add or take away fuel. Now, when an O2 sensor is bad and tells the computer, hey, there's not enough fuel in the combustion chamber, the computer keeps adding fuel and therefore richening the air fuel mixture and potentially causing smoke coming out your tailpipe. Now figuring this out is pretty easy. If you got black or dark gray smoke coming out your tailpipe and the exhaust fumes smell like gas, it's fairly certain that it's due to a rich air fuel mixture. Now diagnosing exactly what part or what sensor is causing your air fuel mixture to be rich for it to have smoke coming out the tailpipes might be a bit more difficult. Again, I gave you the obvious ones or the common ones, but you know, the air fuel mixture has to be really rich for this to happen. Keep that in mind. And also if you have an OBD2 reader, it should help you greatly in finding the main culprit for this. All right, so coming out at number two and where things could potentially cause a bit of money to fix. And that is, if you have bluish or grayish smoke coming at your tailpipe, it could mean that your engine is burning oil. Now this usually happens on engines that have a lot of miles on them, or I guess on engines that have not been maintained properly and haven't had their oil changes done on time. 
or I guess on some new Toyota engines that we talked about recently. But anyway, what happens is your piston rings and your oil rings especially wear out and they cannot properly clean and scrape down the oil that gets on the cylinder walls. That oil from there gets to your combustion chamber, gets burned off with the air fuel mixture and causes smoke at your tailpipe. Now another reason why it could be burning oil is if you have bad valve stem seals. Hopefully you can see it. It's right in the center of this spring. That rubber, it's a rubber part that wraps around the valve. Now as far as how you diagnose this, well, you need to do a wet compression test. So basically first you do a regular compression test. You remove your spark plug, attach your compression gauge to where the spark plug goes, and you turn over the engine and get your compression reading. After that, you add a bit of oil through the spark plug oil, let's say about a teaspoon of oil, and then you do another compression test. And basically what that oil does is it helps your piston rings to seal better next to the cylinder bore. And if your numbers from the wet compression test drastically improve relative to the regular compression test, then that indicates that you have worn out piston rings. Now on the other hand, diagnosing leaking valve stem seals might be a bit more difficult. But symptoms of a bad valve stem seal where it's allowing for oil to leak into your combustion chamber is when you start your car, you simply notice some smoke, not a whole lot, but some smoke coming at your tailpipes for the first, you know, 20, 30 seconds or so. Now, don't confuse that smoke with the condensation that you see early in the morning on a cool morning when you start your car. That's just simply the hot exhaust fumes hitting the cold air and condensing and making it look like it's smoking. That's not smoking at your tailpipe. And these days, and generally speaking, bad valve stem seals causing smoke at the tailpipe is not very common. This was more common with the older made vehicles. All right, and now coming at number one, if you have white smoke coming at your tailpipe, it could mean that your engine is burning coolant. So the main culprit when your engine is burning coolant is going to be your cylinder head gasket. Your cylinder head gasket is the gasket that goes between your cylinder block, this guy, and your cylinder head. This is obviously sitting on top of your cylinder block usually, and that gasket that goes between them is called your head gasket. And when that goes bad, it allows for the coolant that's usually routed around your cylinder bores and your combustion chamber through these passages to sneak or leak into the combustion chamber and then get burned off with the air fuel mixture and cause smoke at your tailpipe. However, when an engine is badly overheated, your cylinder head right around the combustion chamber can develop a crack and allow for coolant to leak into the combustion chamber and again get burned off with the air fuel mixture. Or even worse, on some applications, if the overheating is bad enough, your block can also develop a crack and coolant can leak into your cylinder bore as well. However, again, the main culprit is going to be the head gasket, but the catch is you cannot definitively diagnose this issue and say it's the head gasket and not a crack in the cylinder head or the block unless you take the engine apart and test the cylinder head for cracks and the block as well. However, if your car is smoking, you can diagnose a bad head gasket, cracked cylinder head or cracked block with a block tester, which you can rent at your local auto parts store. Basically, you put some block test fluid inside of this tester, remove some coolant from your radiator or your overflow tank, put this tester on top where the radiator cap goes and try to suck in some of the fumes or the, the gases that's inside your cooling system. And if you have some combustion gases inside your cooling system, this blue fluid will start to turn yellow. Because from the same compromised path, whether it's a bad head gasket or a cracked cylinder head, that coolant is leaking into your combustion chamber, combustion gases, are being forced or leaking into your cooling system and they should not. So there you have it folks. Now don't forget to subscribe and also click on that bell notification again. But if you want to support this channel even further, you can also click on this video in this corner, click on the one right below it or click on any of my videos in the suggestion box that will help as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.